So Figma just announced Figma Science, competing with no-code website builders like Framer and Webflow. There's a lot of questions already. What can it do? What are the limitations? And potentially the biggest question of them all. What does this mean for the future of design tools like Framer? In this video, we're going to cover all of that. Let's go. So first things first, we literally have Figma with a publish button, which is super exciting because designers have been craving this forever. Now, the first thing you might notice when looking at Figma sites is that it actually looks a lot like Framer and there is a ton of similarities. But one of the really cool things you can do with Figma sites is you can take your existing design inside a Figma file and just copy it across to Figma sites and then start designing all your responsiveness. But in terms of responsiveness and breakpoints and how that works, it works just like Framer where you can actually go ahead, add a breakpoint, which is basically a separate view for that page on a particular size of screen. You can even use components, which you can use to actually build your own library for your own brand. Again, very similar to how Figma already has components. So I'm really glad that they're bringing that across and I'm hoping that at some point that gets even more powerful to the point of how Framer does it with interactions and so much more. Now, speaking of interactions, Figma did announce a bunch of different pre-built things that you can do from hover effects to pressed effects, even custom cursors, which is pretty cool. And it looks like too, we're gonna have effects like scroll to and conditions as well. And obviously the most exciting thing about all this is that we can publish our site to the internet with a custom domain and some basic SEO options. And Figma have already taken the step ahead and actually launched a template marketplace already, which you can find on their website. I'll include the link down below as well, just in case you want some inspiration for your next Figma site. Now, one thing to note too, is that Figma sites is currently only available on paid plans, but I believe they're launching it to their starter plan soon. So hopefully it will be available for everyone in the near future. Overall, looking at this product launch, initially on the design experience, at least, it seems like we got what we wanted. The power of creating in Figma, with a publish button. Now, there's a few things that Figma also announced, but are not releasing just yet. that are super important to building a complete website builder. So first is the CMS, which initially I wasn't sure if Figma Science was gonna have this, but I'm actually really glad that they're going to bring it across because it is by far a necessity for any website. So it looks like you can create collections and add custom fields, which is great. I don't know how far this goes, and I imagine there'll probably be some limitations here, especially around like multi-referencing and some things that Framer or Webflow even offer. And then you can dynamically sync that content to the canvas. And what's really cool as well is you can access the inline CMS editor directly from the canvas as well. And they also announced code layers, which personally I'm the most excited for because it lets you add React code on top of your Figma site as components. Now, what's extremely cool about this is you can take your existing designs in Figma then automatically convert them to code and then add on top of that. So right now, this is a big step up from say Webflow and Framer where you actually have to be able to build the whole thing in React to actually add your custom components. But what I love about this is you can do the design work first, the stuff that you're good at, and then even just like use GPT or some magic to kind of add to your code. Now, when it comes to pricing, nothing has been announced yet. Now, I presume that's gonna change fairly soon, but Framer is a little bit more expensive and so is Webflow. So it'll be interesting to see if Figma can try to undercut them, initially at least, to try to gain some market share. Okay, let's talk limitations. Now, even though this is only day one of Figma Science, there's naturally going to be some limitations that come along with a newly released product like this. Now, when we look at a complete website builder, there's really four key areas of focus. There's design, collaboration, publishing, and scaling. Now, what Figma do really well and has always done really well is design and collaboration. That's what we always wanted, right? We wanted the design tools that Figma always had alongside the collaborative opportunities that their platform provides. But I think the current gap is in publishing and scaling. Figma are already very good at design and collaboration, and we know this through their existing products. But the question is, what about larger or more scalable sites? Framer's angle is making marketing sites great. And Figma are probably gonna lean more into designers. So what does that actually mean? Now, like I mentioned, Figma sites is just launched, which means they're still playing catch up with tools like Framer and Webflow. From advanced features like CMS capabilities, localizations, even like the library of plugins available, staging environments for hosting, analytics, password protection, security, SEO control. These are pro features that marketers want 
but are not necessarily included in Figma sites yet. And what I can see too, it seems like there's a little bit of a lack of interaction control as well. So if you wanna design a very specific interaction, like an advanced hover state, or even building carousels and slideshows, you might run into some issues. And from the examples that I've seen so far of published Figma sites, they still feel a little bit static and compare that to a tool like Framer or even Webflow where they really do feel alive. So it's gonna be interesting to see what what Figma can do to actually bring some of that interactivity further into their tool. So what does this actually mean for the future of other design tools like Framer and Webflow? Well, firstly, Figma's trying to build a Canva-like ecosystem for designers. Slides, FigJam, and AI App Builder, and now Sites. They're trying to become the home for designers. So Figma has already done a really good job at replicating Framer's feature set, which makes it a super interesting space. Now, my prediction is that Framer will now focus on more marketing-driven tools to win. Like I mentioned, Figma have the design stuff down pack. It's what they're great as. But I think where Framer kind of step up and position themselves a little bit differently is they're targeting the marketers. They're targeting the people who want to build great marketing sites. And from what we've seen with Figma sites, it still is basically just a design tool with a publish button. So it'd be interesting to see how that will play out over the next, say, 6 to 12 months as Figma Sites releases more and more features to catch up with tools like Framer and Webflow. Now, the big question is, who will win the designers? Because I believe whoever wins over the designers will be the winning platform because at the end of the day, these are the people actually building these websites. Now, why Framer won so quickly early on is because one, they were community led, but two, they provided more ways to make money from their template program to their partner program and even their expert program. People are actually making some crazy money with Framer. So it'll be interesting to see how Figma can win over that audience in particular. But we already know how big Figma is. They almost tried to sell for Adobe for $20 billion. So they've definitely got the market share to actually be a real competitor in this space. This almost feels like a bit of a cycle, right? If we look at where Webflow was and then Framer came along, Webflow became for more advanced sites. Then Figma Sites has come along and Framer, in my opinion, will become for larger sites. So now Figma can be like, okay, we can win on design and collaboration, but what about publishing and scaling? And most importantly, how can we win over designers? I'd love to know what you think. Is Framer dead <laughs> or do Figma actually have a good shot here? Personally, I think it's too early to tell and I think both platforms will obviously have their pros and cons. Obviously, we do a ton of Framer content here on this channel, but if you do want some tutorials on Figma sites, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I'll catch you later.